All right, welcome to the gaming segment of the show. And today I've got a title that's for sports fans out there. It's MLB 15 The Show, which is a baseball title, Major League Baseball, that's what it stands for. And when it comes to sports titles, I always get a bit wary of them because they're sort of annual releases where they sort of release one every year. There's the, the 13 version, the 14 version, now it's the 15 version. And I always wonder whether it's really worth it to invest your time and money into buying one more of these sports titles every Every year they do it with racing games football games rugby games and of course baseball games so is MLB 15 the show actually worth it well there's a few features and upgrades that sort of make it interesting and have some uh, positive effects there but is it different enough compared to the 13 and 14 version for us to really put our time and money into something like this well we'll have to wait and see so let's jump into the game and see whether it's worth your time So what's the gameplay like in MLB 15 The Show? Well, it's a baseball game. So if you know baseball or even vaguely know baseball, then there's not going to be too many surprises. But in general, there's three main gameplay modes. One is franchise mode, where you get to be a CEO or a general manager sort of thing of a baseball team where you have to sort of uh, recruit people and fight your way and compete with other teams and rise yourself up through the ranks. Another type of gameplay mode is Diamond Dynasty, where it's sort of like uh, an all-star game where you collect trading cards and if you don't know baseball has a big trading collector card scene behind it and in Diamond Dynasty you sort of collect cards of famous players and you can use these cards to build your dream team and then finally my favorite mode of play is called Road to the Show and it, it, the whole concept is you start as sort of this amateur nobody and you sort of play your way up, get the attention of people out there, get recruited into a team, sign some contracts and become an all-star towards the end. Road to the show, it is a journey. And it really does start you off at this sort of amateur level where you just have three days of, of games and uh, you have to impress scouts because the scouts are gonna look for positive qualities and sign you with a team. And the better you perform, the better team you get signed with, the better team you get signed with, the more deals and stuff open up later on. Another cool feature of MLB 15 is that the, the sort of equipment and gear that you can get in the game is officially licensed sort of gear that people can play. All of this is really, really cool. But in terms of actually getting into baseball, this actually does help quite a lot because it doesn't just have this gaming aspect, it actually has this society community aspect. There's websites online, there's forums, there's discussion boards, and even in the game itself, it incorporates a news feed so you can read baseball news from dozens of sources and you can actually see what's going on in the baseball world today. Some downsides to the game is that, uh, well, it, it's sort of, um, it's difficult to get into baseball just from this game. If you don't know anything about baseball, or if you know very, very little about baseball, well, it's sort of not gonna be a, a full tutorial into getting into it. I, I find the tutorial is a little lacking, but one cool thing that does help people transition existing players, if you're currently playing MLB 14, the show, this is the first time ever that they let you import your progress from 14 to 15. You just load up the game, and when you start Road to the Show or any of these game modes, you can load up progress from your previous game and just continue where you left off. If you've been playing MLB 14, the show for a year now and uh, you, you haven't really finished the game, you want to pick up the new title and continue your progress, then you can definitely transfer it over. This sort of alleviates some of the problems I have with um, when it comes to buying a new sports title every year, when you have to sort of restart your progress all over again. And in terms of controls and stuff like that, they do give you options. They give you press timing buttons and also there's now analog options, which is really, really cool. So overall, the game is actually looking very, very solid.
So should you get MLB 15 the show? Well, if you're a baseball fan, then this is probably one of the best sports experiences you're gonna get. I've played a bunch of sports games and a lot of them feel quite iterative in their design, but when it comes to MLB 15 the show, it's not revolutionary in any particular sense. They're not changing the game completely, but they incorporate some nice features, some nice uh, implementations into the controls and the gameplay. And overall, it's really, really refined and it's fixed up from the previous year. It's uh, incredibly solid experience and if you're a baseball fan you're gonna love it and even if you're not a baseball fan well watch a couple YouTube videos on what baseball is all about and then you can quite easily get into this game so overall it's really really nice Awesome. All right, we've come to the end of another episode of Gadget Nation. Hope you've enjoyed it. Of course, there'll be plenty more in store for you next week. We're just going to get some gadgets ready. I'm going to have a little bit of a play, and then I'll give you a full-on review. And of course, we'll bring you all the news that you definitely need to know about. Big shout out to Chartan Gallery here in front of Lock 10 and Sungai Wang for hosting us. It's been an absolute pleasure. My name is Adam Carruthers. Till next time. <laughs>